All right, so let's take a look at these first couple analysis questions, um, all related to our data table that we just created. Uh, what we're looking at here, again, is four different ground covers, and we were investigating the difference of these three processes in the water cycle. So infiltration, um, again, remember that is water seeping down into the earth. Runoff is moving across the surface. And then our last one, evapotranspiration. That was a combination of evaporation and transpiration. So that was water going through that phase change of liquid to a gas and moving up into the atmosphere, either from the Earth's surface, if it's evaporating, or from the leaves of plants, if it's transpi transpiring. So what we want to view is how are these changing within the different ground covers. So again, natural was completely natural, just soil, grass, some vegetation um, all the way across. Here, our impervious surface level went up 10 to 20% because we have one building. So again, impervious is not letting liquids pass through. So when the rain falls onto that home, it doesn't fall into the ground here, that's impossible, right? It has to run off the surface and find a spot where it can infiltrate. So as you can maybe guess, our infiltration number went down as the impervious material went up. Um, runoff then, because of that, there's less water that can go in. We saw the runoff increase. And as we move across the chart here, now we're getting more impervious. So now we have two buildings. We see those trends continue. And then here, 75 to 100% impervious. So we're looking at this full, complete city. No, almost no natural ground cover where water can get in. Um, and so we're seeing very large amounts of runoff and small amounts of infiltration. So that's kind of what our, our questions are getting at. So here, what type of ground cover, so natural, impervious, what percent, um, has the highest runoff is what we're looking at. And we wanna include the data there. So for the runoff category, that's this section here, where do we have our highest number and what um, ground cover is that? So we're looking at our numbers here, we definitely see that our highest is in this impervious ground cover section, 75 to 100%. And the actual percent there of runoff is 55. Now here, number two is where you are going to describe why. Why is that ground cover have the largest runoff? What's going on on the surface there to make more water stay on top? And so again, when we have these describes, that gives us a little clue. We wanna begin with that sentence starter. Whoops, <laughs> sentence starter. Okay, so what we wanna do here is just take from the sentence and kind of start our response. So describe why that type of ground cover has the highest amount of runoff. So this ground cover has the highest, so we just wanna restate what we're sharing about. It's always good to put the data in there to be specific. This ground cover has the highest runoff at 55% because why? What's going on in this picture that I don't see in all these other ones to make more water stay on or flow across the surface? So that's what you wanna be explaining there. And as we look to question three and four, we have a really similar um, pack of questions here. We're being asked what type of ground cover has the highest percent infiltration. So we wanna give the name and include the data again. And then our number four is that describe why there's a high amount of infiltration. So you can use the same sentence starter. This groundwater has the highest infiltration because 
And then why do I see the most infiltration happening in, let's see, the natural ground cover state? So again, looking at the picture, why is this the most infiltrated area compared to these other environments? So make sure you're giving the name of the ground cover, natural or what percent impervious, including that piece of data that needs to be in there. And then your because is just explaining why that environment gives us that highest value.